Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to wean yourself off your medications and get on a, a good nutritional supplement program, and that is the number one goal. Anybody on a prescription medicine for a long-term period should be, uh, should be working with. The number one goal, if you're on a long-term prescription medicine, if your doctor told you you're going to be on this medication for the rest of your life, your number one goal should be to get off that medication. I'm not Pollyannish as a pharmacy. I know there are times when you need antibiotics. I know there are times when you need pain pills. I know there are times when you even need an antihypertensive perhaps or a cardiovascular drug, but only for the short term. If you're on any kind of prescription medication, please understand it is not making you better. It is only making you worse. If you, I'm going to say that again because that's so important. If you're on a prescription drug, you are not getting better. You are getting worse. Not just because nutrition, uh, uh, prescription drugs cause side effects and toxicities, but also because prescription drugs put a major drain on the body. Prescription drugs drain the body of precious resources. There is no good reason to be on a prescription drug chronically. It is lazy medicine. It represents ignorance. And if you're on a prescription drug, please understand your job is to figure out how to get off of it. And that's why we're here, to help you get off your medications, to help you really feel better, to help you really address long-term chronic progressive degenerative diseases. 844-236-6010 is our number, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of our longevity products or join the Brightside Ben team, please call 866-735-2470 if you want to make some money selling longevity products, if you're entrepreneurially minded. If you want to make some money and help spread the word at the same time, change lives, Longevity is for you. We've set up a business for you. We've made it easy to get into business. We've made it easy to enter into the business world with just a $25 investment. Of course, you do have to provide value. You do have to do the work. That's true. And if you're entrepreneurially minded, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Of course, if you want to just purchase the Longevity products, you can do that as well at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, our blogs. And news stories are all up at brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. And, of course, you can order products right off the website, too. Okay. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking skin. We're talking connective tissue. This idea of the outside appearance being the result of the inside, it seems like common sense. If you're listening to this program, I know you buy into it. You wouldn't be listening to me if you didn't buy into that. But really... It's a, uh, this is a formulated principle. The outside being part of the inside is a scientific principle that was promoted and formulated as an official theory that was called Herring's Law. Herring's Law states that healing begins mentally and then progresses physically. Herring's Law says that healing starts on the inside and then progresses on the outside. 
healing says, uh, Herring's law says that all healing starts from the top and works itself back uh, down to the bottom. In other words, it starts in the brain, it starts in the head, it starts in our thinking, and then it works into the physical nature. This idea is based, uh, Herring's law comes from uh, the theories or the ideas of a guy named Constance Herring or Constantine Herring. I've heard him. Uh, I've heard it both ways. Constance Herring or Constantine Herring. He practiced his craft in the middle to late 19th century when medicine was stuck in the same philosophical morass of trying to eliminate symptoms and cure symptoms. The cure mentality, pretty much the same philosophical quagmire that modern doctors labor under today. Constantine Herring was a homeopathic physician. He's considered to be the, fa the father of homeopathy. And he was the founder of something called Herring's Homeopathic Medical College in Pennsylvania. When he, interesting story, when he was a young man, Herring became interested in medicine. He enrolled into uh, the University of Leipzig, which was one of the big time medical schools in, in Europe. And uh, he became a protege of the eminent surgeon, Dr. Heinrich Robby, R-O-B-B-I. And at the time, there was a guy named Samuel Hahnemann. Samuel Hahnemann is, was one of the early practitioners of homeopathy, and he was promoting these ideas that you could, uh, you could use experimentation to figure out what was wrong with the body, and he was saying things, radical ideas for the time, that all symptoms have internal causes. And, and you know, this is common sense today, but remember, we're talking the 1820s. We didn't know what germs were. We didn't know what cells were. The notion of an internal milieu inside the body that was responsible for external appearances this was considered radical thinking. Oh my God, you mean the inside causes the outside? It's not evil humors? Medicine was really very primitive back then, and the idea that there, was simp there, that there were causes behind symptomology, this was an affront to the hegemony of modern medicine. And as today, established medicine, established science, does not absorb new ideas very easily. As Max Planck famously said, Max Planck, the, one of the early founders of quantum physics, said, science progresses funeral by funeral, meaning that the old way has to die. The old people, the old uh, promoters of the old ideas have to die off before new ideas can take, uh, can take hold. Schopenhauer, famous philosopher, said, all truth passes through three stages. First, it's ridiculed. Second, it's opposed, violently opposed, he said. And then third, it's accepted as self-evident. These are the three stages of truth, according to Arnold, uh, Arthur Schopenhauer. It's true, that, it's true today, it was true then. Anyway, as the story goes, in 1821, when the medical smear campaign against Hahnemann was at its peak, the medical establishment wanted to publish a book to expose homeopathy as a hoax, and, and this famous surgeon, Heinrich Robbie, was asked to write a book, and he assigned the project to his young protege, uh, Constantine Herring. And as it turned out, instead of exposing homeopathy, Constantine Herring became a homeopathist. He was so impressed by the successes and the theories of homeopathy that he became a proponent. And he, today, they call, he's known as the father of homeopathy. And he came up with this thing called Herring's Law, which basically is the same thing we talk about every day on the bright side. The outside starts on the inside. The physical starts out as the mental, and symptoms are distinct from the health challenge that they appear to be. Or the symptom appears to be the problem, but it's not the problem. The symptom is the sign of the problem. The symptom is your friend. You do not suppress the symptom if you want to take care of the problem. Drugs suppress the symptom. Our medical model is about suppressing symptoms, not respecting symptoms. Symptoms need to be respected. Symptoms need to be understood. Symptoms need to be listened to because they are telling us what is wrong. The medical model shuts that down, shuts that up. And all of these ideas, things we talk about every day on the bright side, this is all generally known as Herring's Law. And it exemplifies, by the way, the importance of the connective tissue, which is what we've been spending months talking about. And really, we could just do a show called the connective tissue show if we're going to do a health show. In fact, if you're really in interested in health, if you're a healthcare professional or you're dealing with a health challenge or you're doing a radio program or you're, you're promoting health, you've got to understand the connective tissue. You've got to address the connective tissue. It exemplifies Herring's Law. It exemplifies this idea that all causes all symptoms start off inside the body. This is why understanding the connective tissue is so, so critically important. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back. 
back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We've got lines open at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or anything we're speaking about here today, if you're dealing with a health challenge or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge, let us show you how simple and how easy a health protocol can be. It really isn't difficult, friends. Let's not overthink this. I was on a, I did a phone call yesterday with um, a friend of mine. Uh, and she had a skin condition, a, genit uh, a uh, genital skin condition. And I was like, you know, no matter what your health challenge is, you've got to backtrack to food. And I spent an hour and a half talking to this gal and her family. We did a conference call because the idea just didn't make sense to them that you could work on the digestive system and, and, and affect your genitals or any other part of the body. This is the idea of backtracking to the cause. It's so important, you guys. We've got a medical model that focuses on symptoms, that focuses on appearances, and it's so easy for us to fall into this trap, but we don't get better. Nobody gets better from the medical model when it comes to chronic degenerative diseases. Nobody. It doesn't happen because it's not possible to take care of a health challenge by treating a symptom because all symptoms begin inside. They begin at the causal level, like, a, like a leaf problems begin at the root level of a tree. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a health challenge, let us show you how simple and how easy it can be to, to begin to reverse. All disease challenges can begin to reverse right away and it doesn't take a lot of hard work to do it. If you're interested in checking out our longevity products, you can head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, and you can also call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. I also encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, our connective tissue building skin health products. That's what the truth is. The truth is that if you want to have beautiful skin, you got to build the connective tissue. It's good, healthy, beautiful skin is beefy, it's strong, it's robust, and it's all a function of collagen, it's a function of elastin, it's a function of the extracellular matrix, the spongy substance that embeds the connective tissue fibers. It's all about the connective tissue, and topical skin care needs to drive the production of connective tissue, and there's only a couple ingredients that will do that, and you need them in high concentrations, and that's why I came up with my Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all are based on my experiences as a compounding pharmacist healing the skin. I learned how to develop skincare products not as a cosmetic chemist, but as a compounding pharmacist, as a dermatological compounding pharmacist. I owned a compounding pharmacy that specialized in skin health for many years, 25 years, just sold it a couple years ago. And I learned how to develop products that heal the skin. And what I discovered was when you heal the skin, you anti-age the skin. Everything we want in an anti-aging product, everything we want in a beauty product is really about health and driving the production of connective tissue and healing the skin. You can find out all about my true skin health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're in the Austin area, I will be doing a talk at the Westgate Lanes Bowling Alley on uh, 2701 West William Cannon. That's this Thursday, January 26th. 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. And I get to talk, when I do my presentations, I get to really go in depth and talk about stuff I don't get to talk about on the, on the radio program, the triangle of disease. And we'll talk about the fourfold square of health. We will talk about, we will talk about the basics of healing, the immune system, the inflammatory system, the relaxation system. And it's not boring either, because I'm not boring. It's entertaining, because I'm entertaining. And I want to make it fun. Health should be fun. Learning should be fun. Anyway. Westgate Bowling Lane, uh, Westgate Lanes, Cherry Creek Commercial, 2701 West William Cannon in Austin, and that's Thursday, January 26th, th this Thursday, 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we'll get your calls here in our next segment. So beautiful skin is a connective tissue, uh, connective tissue issue. Because the skin, the surface of the skin, the so-called stratum layer, that means stratum, corneum, hard, the hard layer, and the epidermis are dependent on the connective tissue. And the connective tissue is what gives our skin its beefy, strong, vital, healthy, robust looking quality the kids have, that little kids have. If you ever looked at a little kid and you look at his skin and you're like, wow, that's amazing. And then you look at grandma and not so much. That's the connective tissue. It shrivels, like our bones shrivel. Like everything shrivels, like the connective tissue shrivels. Health is beauty, beauty is health. These two ideas should not be distinct anywhere in the body, but particularly in the skin. 
Making these two ideas separate is what the skincare business is all about. It's about separating health from beauty. Oh, don't worry about health. We're just going to make you beautiful. Just use our little melon extract that grows off the coast of France, and you'll be, have beautiful skin. And we buy into it because we don't understand the skin and nobody tells us about the skin. This is the only program you're going to hear where we go into in-depth, we go into the skin in-depth and explain where everything is coming from. Everybody else is talking about smearing stuff on the outside and making the skin look pretty. It's what dermatology is about, it's what plastic surgery is about, and it doesn't serve us, it doesn't get us better. And it is an iconic representation of the failure of the medical model. And, by the way, the one-pointed, profit-driven mentality of bankers and marketers who run the skincare business. Thinning skin, wrinkle skin is not a beauty issue, it's a health issue. And driving collagen in the skin allows the skin to do its work more efficiently. It makes hormones work more efficiently, it makes moisture factors more efficient, it makes growth factors more efficient, and this is why working at the dermis to drive the production of connective tissue is the single most important beauty, uh, skin issue when it comes to beauty and skin issue when it comes to health. It's the only thing we have to do, and it's not just beauty, it's health. If you have psoriasis, you gotta drive the production of tissue out uh, of tissue from the connective tissue cells. If you have eczema, same thing. If you have acne, same thing. These are all connective tissue issues. And it's why taking care of the skin is not just beauty, it's health. Driving the production of connective tissue makes your skin healthier. Using our Truth Retinol 5% gel doesn't just make your skin more beautiful, it makes it healthier. Likewise, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and it's not just wrinkles, and it's not just thinning skin. It's all health, all skin health issues. And that's why you want to use bone broth. If you have a skin health problem, you need bone broth. You need, or bone soup as I used to call it. Everybody calls it bone broth now. Whatever. Make your own chicken soup. It's one of the best skin health treatments you could ever use. Likewise, bone broth protein. Likewise, vitamin C. Likewise, essential fatty acids. Likewise, zinc. These are all important for building connective tissue. Vitamin A is unbelievably important for driving the production of connective tissue. As we get old, in addition to the fact that nobody gets enough vitamin A supplementally or through foods, as we get old, we don't absorb our vitamin A more as effectively. Do you know eating a lot of fructose and a lot of sugar will suppress our body's ability to, uh, to absorb vitamin A? Eating a lot of fructose, eating a lot of sugar will suppress our body's ability to get zinc. Eating a lot of sugar, eating a lot of fructose will destroy connective tissue on its own because sugar burns connective tissue. This is why we're aging so fast. It's not because we don't have enough Cindy Crawford melon extract. It's because we're not taking care of the insides. Making sure that you're focusing on digestive health so you can absorb all of these nutrients is important. Making sure you're staying away from food toxins, food allergens, cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke destroys connective tissue. You can see it on the skin. The relationship between the skin and the connective tissue is well known in the world of medicine. Lupus, scleroderma, Sjogren's syndrome, these are called connective tissue diseases and they show up on the skin. You can actually diagnose connective tissue diseases by looking at the skin. You can actually diagnose connective tissue issues by checking out what's in the skin. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information right after this. Why be healthy? Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com, both uh, both archive pages have search engines if you miss a program or if you want to review a program or you have a specific topic you're interested in. We've got f almost six years, I think, almost six years worth of programming. Uh, it's all free. It's all good information. It's all the stuff we talk about here every day on the bright side, the, the, the basics of the, of, the, uh, of the disease process, how the disease process ensues because the outside is always dependent on the inside as, as uh, Constantine Herring told us in the 19th century. Brightsideben.com and BenFuchsArchives.com. You can also purchase longevity products off of Brightsideben.com, PharmacistBen.com, and CriticalHealthNews.com. And you can sign up to join the Brightsideben team off the websites as well. If you're in the Austin, Texas area, I'll be doing a talk this Thursday. 
at the Westgate Bowling Lanes. I just lost the lost the address here. Where I'll get you to here in a second. Uh, that is 2701 West William Cannon. And that's this Thursday, 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. I encourage you all to go out, uh, come out to see us, especially if you're, uh, if you're local. I know I have a lot, of, a lot of listeners in the Austin area. Love to see you. I haven't been to Austin in a while, and I absolutely love Austin, Texas, except for the traffic. I love Austin. It's like a, like a southern fried version of, of Boulder, in my opinion. Anyway, I'll be out uh, Thursday, this Thursday, January 26th, at the Westgate Lanes, 2701 West William Cannon. Also want to give my friend Melissa Galladay a plug for her, uh, she does every Tuesday she does a conference call with a very, uh, different health subject focusing on longevity. I've been trying to get Melissa to do longevity now for a long time. She finally got on board about a year ago and she's doing great work. Melissa, and she knows a lot about nutrition and a lot about nutritional pharmacy for that matter. Melissa and her friend Rebecca Kozak do a call every Tuesday, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Two calls, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check her out at 408-638-0968. That's 408-638-0968. And then you have to punch in meeting ID 579-044-9276. is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. From the Journal of Biomedical Material Research, Kytosan, which is a derivative of shells, insect shells and shrimp shells, supports the expression of the extracellular matrix in human bone cells and cartilage cells. That means you can use Kytosan supplements to help build your extracellular matrix if you're dealing with osteoporosis, if you're dealing with wrinkles, if you're dealing with arthritis, and chitosan is darn cheap stuff. It's made up of glucosamine, a special kind of glucosamine called N-acetylglucosamine. It's a polymer of both glucosamine and N-acetylglucosamine, a long string that contains these sugars. You guys all know about glucosamine. Everybody knows about glucosamine. And when we talk about glucosamine, we talk about it for arthritis, but it's also important for building bone. It's also important for the skin. It's important for the heart. It's important for the blood. It's important for the blood vessels. It's important for wound healing. It's important for everything. And glucosamine and N-acetylglucosamine and chitosan, and for that matter, cartilage and bone broth are good for everything, everything that ails you. doesn't matter if it's uh, the circulatory system or the bone or your skin or an autoimmune disease. It's just good stuff for building the body. Why? Because it is a fundamental component. All of these substances, glucosamine and acetylglucosamine, which you find in aloe vera, by the way, as well as seaweed, chitosan, chitin, our glucogel caps, and for that matter, gelatin, are all important for everything in the body because of their fundamental connective tissue building properties. And speaking of gelatin, this one came out last month. A new study from Keith Barr's Functional Molecular Biology Laboratory at the UC Davis uh, College of Biological Sciences. This was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. Gelatin supplements good for your joints. Yes, they are good for your joints. Just straight Knox gelatin is good for your joints. Stay away from the sweet stuff. But just straight Knox gelatin is good for your joints and it's good for your entire connective tissue body, the body within, within a body. That means it's good for your skin. As, as women have known for centuries, they've been using gelatin uh, to help support the skin. Why? Because it helps build connective tissue. Gelatin is also very important for digestive health. It helps soothe and coat the digestive tract. And it's a wonderful supplement for folks dealing with leaky gut syndrome, which is everybody. We're all dealing, including myself, with at least some measure of leaky gut syndrome because just of how we eat, just of how we li- just because of how we live. But certainly, if you're dealing with an autoimmune disease or any kind of health challenge, focus on the gut. When I say focus on the gut, I'm talking about leaky gut. When we call the digestive system the first point on the triangle of disease, we're talking largely about leaky gut syndrome. Sometimes people will say to me, "Well, I think it might be leaky gut syndrome." Yes, it is leaky gut syndrome, guaranteed. If you got an autoimmune problem or a health challenge or something's wrong inside the body, you can rest assured it begins somewhere inside the gut in terms of leaky gut syndrome. And gelatin supplements can be awesome for helping support the health of the digestive tract and patching up a leaky gut. Of course, you'll get gelatin or glucogel caps. We talk about the glucosamine, but the gel is just as important as the glucosamine. The gelatin being made up of the amino acids, the building blocks for building connective tissue. Of course, you'll get those building blocks in our bone broth protein as well. Bone broth protein, you can find out about that at brightsidehealth.com, brightsidehealth.com. 
Time to hit the phones. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have a couple lines open for you. Mike in Texas, good morning. How you doing? Doing great. Good morning, Ben. Good morning I'm to you. I'm a long-time what? listener. Love it. Listening Thank you. It's about 2011. Changed nice. my life. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's what it's about. That's what we're all about here. Thank you. What's going on today? Well, the reason why I'm calling, I'm calling on behalf of my wife. Um, long story short, uh, she was waking up in a lot of pain. Uh, and, of course, after listening to you, I'm not uh, you know, prone to jump to the doctor or get on medications right away. Nice. However, she was suffering. And so we went to the doctor, and she was diagnosed with uh, osteoarthritis. Okay. And the doctor put her on Malexicam medication. Okay. Um, I did a, some research on it. It's not a steroid drug, but my my mindset is, you know, something to kind of relieve her pain for right now, but we don't want to stay on it long term. And so uh, we wanted to call you and get your opinion on that drug. Or and It's like Motrin. Um, it's a glorified Motrin. You know, it's a non, they call it a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. That's the NSAIDs, they call them. There's a whole bunch of them. They work by stopping, suppressing the production of chemicals that are involved in inflammation. You may have heard of these chemicals called prostaglandins. Uh, prostaglandins, are you, or have you heard that term, prostaglandins? These are the most fundamental chemicals in the body. Uh, I don't want to, you know, arguably the most, but certainly among the most fundamental chemicals in the body. They are the mediators of all inflammation and, for that matter, the mediators of anti-inflammation. From a nutritional standpoint, they come from essential fatty acids. They're derived from EFAs. And whether you're using naproxen or Motrin or Feldene, Peroxicam or, or Diclofenac, whatever you're using, or, or uh, uh, Meloxicam, which, is, uh, which is supposedly causes less stomach problems than other, uh, than other non-steroidal drugs, whether you're using any of these kinds of drugs, essential fatty acids are your natural natural alternative. They're your health alternative. That alone can make a huge difference. Get her on high doses of the ultimate EFAs and a couple more things that you're going to want to do. So hang on. Don't go away, Mike, okay? Thanks for the kind words. I appreciate that. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll finish up with Mike and Mike's wife about uh, arthritis and give you some health strategies for dealing with arthritis and get your phone calls as well if you're on hold. And we do have lines open. 844-236-6010 our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Mike in Texas about osteoarthritis, which is uh, which is just a type of joint degeneration. Hey, Mike, you there? Mike, Mike, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Can you, can you hey, Mike. hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. I got gotcha. you. I okay. hear you now. All right. Arthritis is, uh, arth means joint, itis, inflammation, inflammatory issue of the joints. It's an attack on the joints. Whenever you have an inflammatory process, you have a, uh, an attack on the body. And the inflammatory process is the defense mechanism. It's the calling card of the immune system. That means your body is, uh, your wife's body is being attacked. The combination of attack and nutritional deficiency leads to uh, the pain and the symptoms and the inflammation that's associated with all, all inflammatory health challenges. It's a combination of attack and nutritional deficiency. The attack always comes in through the gut. So you're going to be focusing on digestive health. Now, it may seem like, oh my God, I got a joint problem. I don't have a digestive problem. But because of this idea that things leak into the bloodstream through the digestive tract, you've got to focus on digestive health. That means all the things we talk about uh, when it comes to working with the digestive system, starting off with uh, uh, elimination or, or with a fast. I, or a Swero V cleanse. You can get Swero V from the uh, from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470 and do a Swero V cleanse for two or three days or a complete fast. Either way, if you do a Swero V cleanse, it's half a bottle of Swero V every hour uh, for uh, two to three days. Even one day would help you. Or a complete fast where you don't do any food. Either way, you just clear, clear the deck. Then you start picking one food at a time and spending all day eating that food. 
and try to eat as simply as possible. Now, you don't have to be complete. If you want to do it correctly, then you just do one food a day for maybe a week or so until you eliminate all your problem foods. If you don't want to go all out, then just do maybe one day uh, and then go back to your normal way of eating. And then a couple days later, do another day where you're just eating a problem food. Ideally, you want to get it over with, I think. But some people can't, can't do that. And in any case, you want to pick problem, uh, eliminate problem foods. Find, isolate, and then eliminate problem foods. If she knows she has digestive problems, She's ahead of the game. She's that's a, she's a step ahead. She doesn't have to go through all that elimination stuff or, or isolating the problem food and just eliminate what she knows is a problem. That alone will make a huge difference. Then there are wonderful, wonderful supplements she can use to support digestive health, which very interestingly will also help with the joints. Why? Because connective tissue in the joints is similar to connective tissue in the gut, in the intestine. And leaky gut is arthritis of the intestine. So you're going to kill two birds with one stone by using nutrients for the, for the gut. That is slimy nutrients, first and foremost. What do I mean by slimy? Seaweed, things like fucoidin, if you're going to supplement or using seaweed, hyaluronic acid, which is a component of the connective tissue, 100 or so milligrams a day. You can do 200 milligrams a day. Your glucogel caps, glucosamine, chondroitin, as well as gelatin will both soothe and repair the digestive tract and also help with the joints. Likewise, essential fatty acids, as, as I said before the break, EFAs, uh, your ultimate EFAs, I would be doing nine a day. And don't forget vitamin C, or as I like to call it, vitamin CT, which stands for connective tissue. Vitamin C is the key element in building connective tissue, whether it's in the joints, whether it's in the cartilage, or whether it's in the gut, or whether it's in the heart, or anywhere else in the body. Uh, that's why Thomas Levy calls it the primal panacea. It's good for everything. 1,000 uh, to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, you'll get that in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which of course will give you all the basics, all the, all the, um, the mighty 90 essential nutrients, most of them. In, in, you'll have to throw in the ultimate EFAs and your, uh, your uh, Beyond OsteoFX. So get on the Healthy Star Pack as well as the Glucogel Caps. If you want to do a few more things that might be helpful, make sure that you're keeping the blood sugar stable using the ultimate niacin as well as uh, the uh, Sweeties product from Longevity. And if you want to do a few more things, bone broth and bone broth protein, cartilage, uh, cartilage soup or bone soup, as well as my bone broth protein, which you'll find at brightsidehealth.com. Hope that helps, Mike. Anything else you want to add? No, uh, that's wonderful information. Thank you. And as far as Good the deal. soup's concerned, my wife and I actually make a pot of soup once a week now. <laughs> awesome. Good for you. Hey, and uh, a little bit of aloe vera every day might help, too. Okay? And, oh, you know what else? I forgot. This is also cool. Ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach and with meals. Take them with meals. They'll help you absorb your proteins and your amino acids and, and all the, the building block components of cartilage. And taken on an empty stomach, your ultimate enzymes have anti-inflammatory and pain relief properties that aren't exactly the same or as potent as the meloxicam, but uh, they'll, they're along the same lines, and it may help you wean off the meloxicam along with your ultimate EFAs. All right, Mike. Thanks so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Good luck with everything. Have a great day in, uh, in Texas. Maybe we'll see you in Austin, Mike, too, by the way. Okay, Clayton in Canada. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Clayton. Hey, Ben. I have a co-worker that's been uh, diagnosed with relapsing polychondritis. Oh, my goodness. That's just... Yeah. Yeah, so what, you know, that's funny. Relapsing polychondritis. What? Just, these are just gibberish medical words. His body's falling apart. Chondritis means car. It's just like chondritis is a form of arthritis. Chondritis, con, C O N, whenever you hear C H O N, like con, or C H O N D, like chondria, that means cartilage. Itis means inflammation. It's an inflammatory condition of the, of the cartilage. The main difference between regular old wear and tear inflammation, like we had with our last caller, Mike, and polychondritis, is the, 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 what they call the pathogenesis, the development of the disease, is autoimmune when it comes to polychondritis. But that's a really meaningless distinction because you still have to do the same things that we just talked about. Whenever okay, you have an auto, auto, care, I'm going to put them on the line with you. Just okay, good. Lanny. Hey, Lan Lanny. Hi, Ben. How are you? Hey, buddy. Hey, listen, don't be bamboozled by this term, by this diagnosis. It's meaningless. It doesn't help you. Your joints are just being attacked. Right? It's an auto. Do you know what an autoimmune disease have you heard, is? Have you heard that term? Yeah. Auto. Okay. So you got an autoimmune disease of the joints, but that doesn't matter. The fact is, is that the body is somehow perceiving the joints and other parts. You probably have attacks in other parts of your body too. Somehow seeing seeing the joints, and not necessarily the joints, the cartilage. 
uh, you can have in your ears, you can have it in your nose, you can have it anywhere where there's cartilage. Uh, it's seeing that as the enemy, which makes sense because the connective tissue and the cartilage, which is part of the connective tissue, is the great dumping ground of blood toxicity. What I mean by that is when the blood becomes toxic, eventually those toxins will get dumped into the cartilage. The cartilage will then be perceived as the enemy and the body will attack the cartilage. Do you understand how that works? Does that make sense? How I explain that? So the blood becomes dirty, the blood becomes toxic. Remember, I don't know if you've heard me say this before, Lanny, but all disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. So the blood becomes dirty, those dirt, that dirt or the, those toxins get dumped into the cartilage, and then the cartilage gets attacked. So the question is, because remember, we're working backwards here, a la Herring's Law, we work backwards. The, uh, starts, you see it at the joints or at the cartilage level. Working backwards, we go to the blood. How does the blood get dirty? We can take a another step backwards and we work at the digestive system level. So everything we just talked about with Mike applies to you. And you have to know that you have a, have a history of digestive health issues if you're, if you're in full-blown relapsing polychondritis. The relapsing part means it keeps coming back. So the doctor, doctor treats it and you get it coming back. You understand what I'm saying? I'm sure you do because you're, yeah. you're the guy dealing with it. So yeah. how old are you, Lanny? I'm 47. All right. So you must know at the age of 47 that you have decades, decades of digestive health issues. This does not appear. There's no polychondritis angel that's sprinkling dust on your head and you're just sitting there minding your own business and all of a sudden you get the disease. I'm just being right. facetious, but that's kind of the thought process that we have. I was doing nothing and I got the disease. So you, you must know you have a history that way. Constipation, heartburn, gas, bloating, and that's yeah. good be, because that means now you have a place to work. Now you have a diagnostic window or tool that you can use to assess how well you're doing or how not well you're doing. Your, your digestive system, digestive symptoms will get worse or better depending on how you eat. So as we were just talking with Mike, I don't know if you heard us talking, you want to do a Swero V cleanse or a fast either way and uh, clear the decks. Then when you start eating again, eat one food at a time and see how you feel from a digestive system perspective. You'll get nauseous, you'll get pain, you'll get gas, you'll get pressure, you'll get a heartburn, something constipated, running a loose stool, something will happen and then you'll know that's a food that you have to eliminate. And you keep running through, oh my gosh, we're out of time. I, I apologize, my friend. Uh, work on the gut, use aloe vera, the glucogel caps, oh, probiotic, I forgot to mention that to Mike, but I'll I hope you're listening, Mike. Don't forget your probiotics, your nightly essence, as well as fermented foods, your ultimate enzymes. All these are gut issues. Then th uh, add in the glucogel caps, which will do uh, double duty. It'll help you build, help build your digestive system and also help build your joints. Bone soup and cartilage not only are important for helping build connective tissue, but they're also important for the immune system. And there's some really interesting, a really interesting mechanism how that works. And I'll, maybe I'll talk about that tomorrow. But in any case, bone soup and bone broth protein. Clay I'm out of time, my friend. I um, hope I helped you out. And if I left you on hold, I apologize. Just ran out of time today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.